Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Got a really nice low mileage Class C today, guys. Uh, we're going to review a 2006 Fleetwood Tioga SL 31W. Total length is 31 feet 4 inches, guys. Um, it has 22,000 miles on it, 78 hours on the generator. And of course, for those of you who are not familiar with the Tioga SL, uh, that's pretty much Fleetwood's top of the line Class C in that year. Has a full basement storage like a Class A has. Uh, very expensive for the time. Uh, when this was brand new back in 06, it was about 85 grand. Of course, new RV prices have doubled since then. So it's, you know, equivalent today would be about $150,000 brand new. And it's well built, guys. You know, the Tioga SL, the Jamboree SL, the Jayco Designer Class C, and the Winnebago were pretty much the three top Class Cs of this era as far as quality. And of course they cost a lot more money too than say a Four Winds 5000 or Coachman, uh, Coachman Catalina, something like that. So, but the guys, this is definitely for today, top of the line. It's still in great shape today. Got a Alcoa wheel instead of just the cheap wheel covers. 6.8 Triton V10, 22,000 miles, ice cold dash air, 305 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque. 5,000 pound tow capacity, has 30 amp electrical service. Got the uh, rounded roof on top. All right, guys, I do have it plugged into 30 amp power. Um, our heat index is 101 degrees, so I've had to leave this thing on for a while to get it cooled off. We can spend a little time in it because it is miserably hot. And plus, the generator has only got 78 hours on it. It does try to crank. I've got it on my list for my generator guy to fix. It's probably going to need a carburetor or cleaned out or something like that. It's probably just got old gas in it. Guys, when you store these Class Cs, it's very important. Run that generator at minimum once a month. I do mine usually twice a month, and I'll let it run for 30, 45 minutes under a load just to keep everything lubricated. Um, it is missing this little trim piece right here on the slide out. I just noticed that, which might be a little difficult to get on an 06. I can, you know, I just have to try, but I can't make any promises. Um, got a slide topper. Of course, you know, this is a higher end Class C. Notice the overlapping fiberglass cap. That's a sign of a well-built Class C because the straight edges is where most leak problems occur. And this one doesn't have that. The E450 chassis, 22,000 miles. Like I said, dash air is ice cold, no check engine lights, no warning lights. And uh, got a patio awning, power steps. It's a nice, uh, nice class C, guys. It really is. Let's see, I didn't even open this up, guys. Look at that. Got outside stereo, speakers. Probably set you a TV up here if you wanted to. And of course, like I said, you've got full basement storage. Tires look great. Let's look inside, cause guys, it is miserably hot out here. Whew. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, be careful. If you're not from the South and you come here in Northwest Georgia to look at RVs this time of year, plan ahead. I mean, bit of advice, get here early. Try to get here as soon as we open before it gets too hot because hottest part of the afternoons right now, like I said, the high is 92, which isn't that bad, but heat index is 101. And, uh, and you get into an RV that doesn't have the air conditioner on, uh, add another 20 degrees to that. Luckily, I've had this thing running for a couple hours, uh, air conditioner on, so even though it's not what I would consider ice ice cold, that's all you can expect considering the circumstances is what it's doing right now, and it still feels fantastic, guys. Um, of course, good thing about air uh, refrigerator's on and it's cold. So pretty much once I get the generator fixed, which hopefully be in the next few days, it's ready to go, guys. 
slide works i put it in and out uh air conditioner's good and cold refrigerator's cold lights come on yeah besides that little trim piece and like i said guys i will try to find that trim piece i can't make any promises but i promise you i'll, I'll give it a good effort and um I, I figure the odds about 50 50 of finding that trim piece so uh, so best thing to do is buy it under the assumption i can't get it and if i do get that little trim piece just consider it a free bonus um that makes sense <laughs> But I promise you guys, I'll give it the, I'll give it the, I'll give it a good effort. I'll even call Fleetwood or Rev Group who owns Fleetwood now. Flex steel captain's chairs, you know, the SLs used only the best. So they've got leather SL cap, or leather flex steel captain's chairs. Uh, no check engine lights. It's got a brake light on because I've got the parking brake to operate the slide out. Got a uh, camera works great. Rear view camera right above the rear view mirror. CD player, everything's factory up here, forward from 06. Power windows, power locks, windshield looks great. There's no smoke or pet odors in here. Um, you've got a full-size bed up top. And remember, you've got a little bit of a step down because of this extra storage, basement storage in this SL. Heated power mirrors and all that tilt crews, all that good stuff too. Up here, guys, you, this makes a full-size to a queen-size bed. There's your books and manuals, ladder, a little bit of extra storage right here. Um, carpeted headliner, no signs of leak damage anywhere, not even in the cab over. Got a optional fantastic vent fan in case you're boondock camping and you're laying down up here, you can still circulate some air in or out. Sleeper sofa with a fold down center console makes a bed, looks great. Table booth makes a bed, upholstery looks great. Only thing I see missing. Is that little lamp shade that goes on that light. You can probably pick one of those up on Amazon or eBay or something. Um, nice kitchen area, solid wood cabinets. Got the uh, etched glass fronts. Look great. Microwave, flat screen TV. Looks like it's been updated. Uh, DVD, VCR, probably, that's probably OEM. Three burner stovetop, which I'm sure it is. Yep. Actually, look at that, guys. Actually, it shows it's been cooked in a little bit. Oven looks good. Uh, Samsung microwave. Hmm. And I can tell this thing's not been stored in extreme heat because, you know, back then, especially Fleetwood, used a lot of wallpaper border. And what happens is if this has been like stored down in Florida in the extreme heat, not buttoned up, or buttoned up with no circulation, the edges of that wallpaper border will peel and curl up which it doesn't really hurt one but you just you got an idea of how it's been maintained um yeah 13,500 BTU ducted roof air which works great but you know, anytime you're camping in triple digits don't expect it to be 60 degrees inside your RV it's not going to happen don't matter how many airs you got um oh that feels good <laughs> Uh, I can stick my head in this freezer for a little bit if I wanted to. Nice cold freezer. I forgot my thermometer and it's too darn hot to go out there and get it. But I do promise you guys it does work and it is getting cold. Walk to the back and you've got a stationary bed, a uh, queen bed in the back. Uh, mini closets, nightstand on one side. You see, you can either get the one side with the smaller closet and the nightstand and the plug in, or you can get the bigger closet with no nightstand and, and drawers, your choice. Uh, little TV right here on a swivel mount. Oh, guys, this thing feels great. Carpet looks great to be the original carpet. You do have a split bath. Got the faux marble surround. You can see, guys, around the skylight. No signs of water damage. You've got a water closet. This door opens up, makes a privacy barrier. And, uh, oh, feels good, guys. Just, this is like the cool spot right here. Uh, you got a RV toilet. Medicine cabinet, sink. All that good stuff in here. Wallpaper border again, not peeling anywhere. Got day night shades are all in great shape. 
you know besides that generator which i'm going to fix and that little trim piece and that little lampshade wow about as nice as an 06 that i've seen in a while ultra low miles it's got a, a good place for the tv right here um check it out 41.9 while it lasts and of course like i said we'll uh, we'll fix that generator and i'll try to find that trim piece again don't I, like i said I, i've got i don't know sometimes i can find them sometimes i can't if i can't then you know like i said plan on me not being able to find it and if i do just consider it a like i said a pretty much a, a bonus um but even if i don't find it guys maybe if you put your name in some of these salvage yards they get one in similar to this with that same trim piece they, they might be able, they might contact you and let you know about it even though it might be months or maybe in a year or two down the road so and i've done that plenty of times guys they do a lot of them actually do call you so also some hard to get parts but anyway guys um 41.9 is the price and we'll show you the major systems work slide out generator refrigerator freezer and the roof ac um check the weather if it's going to be really really hot and you want to come look at this one specifically call a salesperson with 24 hours notice have them plug it into power and i may even have a generator fixed but if we're going to run it for a while it's best to go ahead and just plug it into power save the gas um and we'll plug it up get the fridge cold for you and leave the air on for you but don't call an hour before you get here and expect us to be able to do it because i only have a limited number of plug-ins at any given time between out here on the lot and service so um yeah i don't i don't hook them up to adapters either guys if you have to use an adapter to plug in your rv you're you're fighting a losing battle um yeah, i'm not a big fan i wish they wouldn't even make plug-in adapters because i've seen people really mess up plugging in a 30 amp rv into a house outlet and running the air conditioner and and trying to run everything else guys i've seen them blow pretty much fry air conditioners because of low voltage you know if, if your rv came with 30 amp or if it came with 50 amp you need to plug into 30 or 50 amp the only exception is if you're going from 50 to 30 and you've got the the right adapter then you can then you can use it um but you know those adapters guys i i wish i wish they wouldn't even make them because i've seen more people screw up more things in their rv using plug-in adapters so you know best thing i do like at my home uh, i've got 50 and 30. i've got an rv hookup like just like a cat brown's got cost me a few hundred bucks best money I ever spent i've got 30 amp now but you know when i had my big winnebago it was 50 and i'm i'm, I'm set for future purchases too and i never have to worry about it and if I move one day, I'll do the, I'll take all of it down and have it installed at my new house. So that stays with me even if I don't have an RV. Anyway, guys, oh, I tell you, I don't even want to get out of this thing. Walk to the showroom is so blasted hot outside. If this is something you think you're interested in, it sleeps. Let's see here, two, four, six, up to eight people seven to eight depends on the size 41 9 22,000 miles 78 hours on the generator um if this is something you think you're interested in give us a call 706-965-7929 please subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to comment share on social media feel free to smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i'll try to do some more class c's just had a few come in I've always had a kind of a soft spot for the SLs, the Tiogas, and the Jamborees. So that's one reason why I went ahead and shot this one. I thought these were very well built RVs for that era. Um, better than most. And of course, that's why here it is 15 years later and still looks as good as it does because it was well built to begin with. And, and actually been pretty well taken care of too. The outside's not faded real bad, just needs a bath, um, which we'll do that as well, give it a wash. But, um, inside of this thing is, is pretty nice to be a used 15 year old motorhome for less than half price of what it costs new and a third of what a new one would or less than a third of what a new one will cost now if you can even get a new one they're all pretty much special order so 
anyway guys 41.9 financing is available with approved credit down payment we have nationwide delivery available if you're interested in up-to-the-date information on either one of those services just pick up the phone and give us a call 706-965-7929 one of my salespeople will be happy to help you no pressure we're not going to call you we're not going to bug you you come visit with us we're the only dealership around that has this much used inventory in one location and the only dealership around period that lets you simply go out and look without being escorted around by a salesperson without sitting down at a sales desk and filling out a questionnaire and signing forms and pretty much being interrogated before they even let you on the lot to look at inventory and even then guys they won't let you look unescorted they the salesperson shows you what they want you to see uh, in fact a lot of them even do soft pulls on your credit before they even let you on the parking lot that's why they get copies of your driver's license so uh keep that in mind guys you can park where you want just don't park in the driveway because <laughs> people actually do that sometimes and just keep in mind guys it is very very hot so stay hydrated stay cool you can sit in the showroom to cool off i got free bottled water in the fridge you can help yourself too you, even if you do that you don't have to talk to nobody just tell them you're coming in to cool off nobody is going to talk to you try to sell you something or anything so don't even worry about that guys my guys literally have people wanting to buy these things all over the country. They've got no reason to uh, to put any pressure on anybody because 80% of our sales are on the internet or over the phone or both. So, um, like I said, walk-in customers are just kind of a, you know, on the lot are just kind of the icing on the cake a lot of times. Um, I mean, they're important too, but like I said, most of our sales happen over the internet and over the phone. Of course, that's... That's 2021 for you. You know, one day, probably in the not so far off future, especially with COVID and all this other stuff, I, it, it's going to be it's going to be a point where online only used vehicle transactions are going to be normal. And I, 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 in some ways, I like to see that. In other ways, I don't. So, but I think honestly, I think that's what the industry for cars and RVs and boats and stuff is going to kind of like Carvana but with RVs where you don't know what you bought until it pulls up your driveway and um, but you know what who knows guys what do I know anyway thank y'all for subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification button please guys I'm so close to 30,000 subscribers would like to count you among them the benefits of being a subscriber is that you get a heads up every time I post a video because what happens when I post a video I put it on our website all right our website goes into a feed with RV Trader RVT and several other very popular online publications for RV shoppers used RV shoppers to look for inventory so you that takes about 24 to 48 hours and then it's all over the internet then now you get a notification on your phone when I post a video you can look at it hey i like this let me go ahead and call them try to get it before everybody else does because once everybody else sees it you've got multiple people fighting over the same unit like the van i did earlier today i'm pretty sure we've already got it sold to somebody that's a thousand miles away of course when you price a 2011 van for what they're bringing for an 08 and 09 model on rv trader with twice the miles of mine yeah it's 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 pretty much a no-brainer for those looking for those but uh this is another one guys clean ultra low miles um like i said here in a few days it'll be ready to go once we get that generator fixed but anyway guys thank y'all again for watching i really appreciate it uh appreciate my almost thirty thousand subscribers again hit the notification and the subscribe button if you haven't already thank you again for watching we have no fees no surprises haggle free pricing 41.9 haggle free no surprises plus applicable sales tax well i say that but i always got to disclose if you are a georgia resident you do have a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that that's for georgia buyers only but anyway guys i will probably see you sometime tomorrow thank you again for watching look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringo georgia oh I always forget something. Call before coming to look to make sure it's available, guys. It's common sense. 
most of y'all do now but but you know every once in a while somebody will will see a, a a four or five year old youtube video that says sold in the description and sold in the vehicle title and they'll drive several hours here it happened yesterday while i was off and drove several hours here from a video that was published back in 2015 it did not understand why it wasn't here even though the video said sold all over it like i said guys most of y'all y'all know that call before coming to look to make sure it's available but just for those of you that don't please do um i've got thousands of videos on my youtube channel but thousands of them say sold on them because they've already sold and long gone all the way back to 2010. i wish i had that much inventory <laughs> i'd definitely be the biggest rv dealership in the world used wise if i did but uh at one time but nope <laughs> i wouldn't have room to park near that many if i wanted to but thank you again for watching guys again look forward to seeing you in beautiful ringo georgia that's it i promise <laughs>